Unless you are Eurasian or someone involved in sports at club or recreational level, you wouldn't know of the slang or unfeather territory Eurasian Association. But this association has been at the forefront of local sports together with the likes of other communal clubs. The first ever meeting to form an association for Eurasians was as far back as December 14th, 1919 and in June 1921 the association was formed. The association's current premises is located just behind the old Puru jail on Jalan Pudu and has been in existence since October 1953. But it has to move out soon to make way for development. The developers have identified a location in Swank Bangsa as a possible venue for the association's new premises. Are the members set to see the end of an era? Actually, I don't think there's anything to be lost, but maybe a lot to be gained because in the 50s, a lot of the, this was like a housing area and a lot of the Eurasians lived around this area so they could come to the association. But now, uh, I think Jalan Pudu is no longer the centre of the city. So if we are moving to Bangsa, I think that would might, uh, it might change the dynamics in a good way, I think, yes. One of the dynamics is an older membership. By moving to Bangsa, the club hopes to attract a younger generation of Eurasians to become members. Okay, the average age of the members coming is quite elderly, so we're actually trying to change that. With our new uh, general committee, we have a lot of people under 40 now, so that will be a good... Uh, so when we move to Bangsa, we're hoping to bring back the young, younger people. I think uh, many see this as a very, because the building is old, they also think that the people inside are old. So I think if we move to a younger area, which is like Bangsa, which is uh, sort of a quite happening place, I think uh, the younger members, the younger people may feel that there's an interest to come in, to come. But there is still a lot to be done, and the new premises may not be so soon in coming. Okay, I, we, we need to get the land first and maybe after that another three to six months uh, for renovations. I, I, I'm just, I'm just, um, this is just an estimate. Then maybe by next year, I think. What about uh, the cost of moving, uh, cost of renovation and then future rentals? Okay, that, uh, that is a perennial problem. We need to do some major fundraising activities to do that, yeah. The occasion of our visit to the association's clubhouse was a farewell lunch for long-serving Honorary Secretary General Joseph de Souza, affectionately referred to as Bonnie. Bonnie has been the association's Honorary Secretary General for 46 years. We took him away from the 500 guests for a quick chat. Uh, now the club is going to move from here to somewhere else. Yeah. What do you feel about that? Well, you see the, the, the point is that when we were here in Jalan Pudu, we were side, sort of uh, right in the middle of everybody. You know. One side is Ke Kajang, one side Ke Pong, the other side Su, 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 Jaya, Su, uh, Subang Jaya. All over. But we are, we are supposed to be some sort of a central point here and everybody will have access to us. But when we're going to move to another place, I hope we can get something like in town, lah, also central. Lah. But we are not sure where we're going to go. Although the government has uh, already indicated they might give us some land in uh, Bangsa. But we are not sure uh, what, 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 how it's going to happen. If it happens in Bangsa, well, it will be a good, good area, but then there's also one problem with When the government takes this place from us, they're going to clip the clubhouse also. And when we go to Bangsa, we have only land. And how are we going to build a club over in Bangsa? That is going to cost us a fortune. So we, we hope 
we can get some sort of assistance from the government to, you know, to maybe get some money or something to build a clubhouse there. At the moment, we are going ahead with some fundraising to build a clubhouse. But uh, to build a clubhouse in Bangsa means millions. It wouldn't be $100, $200, no way. Do you feel sad about uh, retiring as only Sector? Oh yes, of course. You see, I I feel like something is taken off from me. You know, when regular you come here, you have something to do. Every time you look forward to this, to do this and do that, you have your accounts to do, your secretarial job to do, your letters to do. Now all of a sudden, everything is taken away from you. So definitely, I will feel something taken away from me. But uh, I have to adjust to it. I cannot continue like I told the president. Yeah, your, your, faculty, your faculties can last to a certain extent. I hope I can last to a certain extent until that day. I hope nobody tell me, oh, you better leave. That will be an insult to me. So before that happens, I think I better back out myself. Yeah. So in a way, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a double whammy, as like they say. Your retirement and then the club losing its place here. Yeah. yeah. That's also, also right. But it, uh, what to do? Things happen. But we can have. We have to look forward to it. We look forward to whether we can get a better place. Who knows? If Bangsa, if, if we can really uh, get a building up in Bangsa, that will be a very good place because all the youth go to Bangsa. It's a, uh, like a magnet attracting everybody. You ask the youth, where are you going? Bangsa. Yeah. So that will be a good place. Only thing we hope we can get money to build a clubhouse. That's our problem. <laughs>